morning welcome back to gym builds and by popular request we are going to do some zinc plating so for this we need to do some science and we're going to do something called electrolysis which is basically a mix of um, vinegar salt nickel and witchcraft that's the easiest way of explaining it so obviously for that you need vinegar, salt, nickel, a glass jar and an old charger which is about five volts. Drop the end off and attach two crocodile clips, one to each wire. And that's it. I'll set it up and then we'll get going. Right, so first, pour the vinegar. A little bit of salt, probably too much, give it a little stir. Attach your electrode to the nickel, drop that in there. Do that with the other one. Making sure you tangle your cables as you go for a super slick production. There we go, right. Using a bit of tape. Just to keep these two apart. So the nickel can be bought online, this is one I got off eBay, it was 100ml square, uh, one mil thick, I've just cut a couple of strips off it. So that is it, then you turn it on. Now you'll see this one started fizzing, probably not, and that's normal, it's okay, but you need to know which one this is, mark it for later because it's the negative electrode. And you'll need that for when you attach your part. So now you've done your science, you've got to just wait. So what are you going to do in that time? Make a cup of tea. Cheers. Watch my other videos and subscribe. Wow, fun and informative. I don't know. Something else. hours later of drinking tea watching videos you get that lovely shade of green so the next bit is coming on to plating itself so you're gonna need some gloves and these are two, two parts we're gonna try uh, they've both been sanded to 400 grit you can see we've got rid of a lot of the pitting on there um, it's not perfect but I um, think this is a good good test. What you'll find as well is nickel won't fill in gaps. So if you've got a pitted surface, it will show through. Uh, and it's the same with bodywork. It's your parts going to come out as well as you prep. You need gloves on, and you're going to have to be really careful. Which is why I'm using my serious voice right now, because in here you have. Um, acid because you needed a hydrochloric acid which has been dilute 
50-50. Uh, so water first, then the acid. Um, and you put the part in there and that's meant to help adhesion when you come to nickel plate because you need to etch the surface. So we'll go in here, five minutes. Then we'll go into the water to clean off, to, to uh, clean off the, the acid, what's in here. And then we'll go into the nickel. And I'm gonna take it from the jar and put it in this little container because I can then stop these the um, the anode being too close to the part, which is why I ended up with the quite a flaky um, finish on the sump. And from what research I've done, this is because they were too close. So you can see on this, it's it's flaked, but I haven't. Ha this also hasn't been etched. It was just wire brushed so you can actually see some of the wire brush marks this will clean up i mean this latch was in the same position so i thought well I'll try it with one and then hopefully i can fix it um i've also put on although not very well we've got some welding wire because not only will it conduct electricity when we put this in to the uh into the nickel electrolyte, we can use it for picking up and distributing this part without actually touching it or putting your hand anywhere near that liquid. I'm telling you this now, um, please be careful. I'm not responsible for your safety. Um, but anyway, I'm not, you get that. So let's give it a try. So I've put the part in and it started to fizz up as you'd expect. Try and get a better light on that. There you go. So we're just going to have to keep moving it ever so slightly because again you don't want the bubbles to form on the surface because otherwise you'll end up, you can end up with a inconsistent finish. So I'll just give them a move <coughs> and make sure this, wherever you're doing this, it's well ventilated. So I've got my door open. But uh, yeah, we'll check back on it in a couple of minutes. Once you've finished plating, don't forget to jar this back up. You can keep it indefinitely. It'll just get darker in colour as the nickel content increases. But overall, very happy with the, the finish. Looks good. I've given it a quick polish with... Um, this stuff don't use anything like autosol which will cut into the surface because you'll end up taking off the nickel that you've just put on but uh, yeah this thing's come up pretty well I mean I've done this as a test I don't know how what the longevity of it is and there's a lot of good kits out there which I'm also not rubbishing I think they're all very good this was just a well let's see what we can make with stuff we've got in the house but you can basically do anything that's made of steel. Um, and I've even managed to do the original key. There you go. So overall, I'm happy with it. Um, definitely got a lot more to learn with it myself. Um, I think you can do other metals like zinc. Um, I know you need to nickel plate before you can copper plate. So if you've got any copper, um, you can make the make this solution up in the same way, apparently copper turns blue. Um, the zinc, if I remember rightly, stays fairly clear from the research I've done, but it's something I might try in the future. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask. I'll answer them as best I can. Like I say, I'm learning as much as uh, anybody else is. Um, and I hope it goes well for you. Uh, just let me know how it goes. Thanks. See you soon.